You can't drive with Kirsty. She's not 20 yet. No one will ever know. No. Well, Mum. I'm sorry, Nick. It's out of the question. What did she say? We got ourselves some wheels. Yes! Glass. You should see it, it's really gross. Are you a friend of yours? Yeah. You've been drinking? No, of course not. What is this, the third degree? I wouldn't have to carry on like this if I thought I could trust you. You can. Morning. Jennifer Mary Harrison. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yes, you're quite the lad, aren't you? Hey, so I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Anyone could get unlucky. You didn't get unlucky, Nick. You just ran out of luck. Mum, I swear, I had nothing to do with that brawl. I was just there. You were there in my car. But you told me you hadn't come back from the mechanics. Well, where is it anyway? Parked around the corner, I suppose. No, it's back in the garage. You lied to me about going to the movies with Kirsty. You lied about the car. Why wouldn't you lie about the fight as well? Were you drinking? The bottle store was already closed but when we got there. were you drinking? Look, Kirsty was just giving me a driving lesson. I saw this guy I know outside who? the shop. Simon. Simon who? How long have you been hanging out with these louts? He's not a lout. You heard what the policeman said. That place is notorious. And if you get in with the wrong crowd, you're going to end up getting arrested or... You're not going to listen. I want some straight answers. Why? You've already made up your mind. Nick. I'm late for school. Don't you walk out when I'm talking to you. Oh, this place looks more like a warehouse than a clinic. I'd hate to think what Dr McKenna would say if he saw it. Don't worry about it. Oi. I believe these are yours. Oh, great. They've arrived. I've told you before, I will not have you cluttering up my foyer with your bits and pieces. Oh, come on, Marge. They're not really in the way, are they? Get rid of them. Can't they stay here just for today? They'll be gone in no time. Well, what's in them anyway? Oh, look, they didn't fall off the back of a truck, did Marge, they? Marge, it's all above board. Honest. Well, I can't have them here unless I know what's in them. They're just T-shirts. See? Genuine designer stuff. I thought I'd flog a few of them off over here. Oh, and... no. This is a clinic, not an op shop. How much are they? Well, it's pretty expensive stuff, but I got it at cost, so for you... Stephen! Look, Marge, just your size and your colour too. Consider it a gift for being such a sport, eh? I think I prefer the blue. Please yourself. Oh, I'll have a red. Darling, for you ten bucks. You're all hot. The next lot coming in are going to be in kid sizes. Uh, do you want me to put in an order for your latest grandchild? Watch it, son. <laughs> what grandchild? Never your mind. Hey, Alison, hi. Um, here's my address for tonight. Wow, your own car. Yeah. Hey, um, look, since you're coming over anyway, why don't you stay for dinner? Oh, no, I don't want to put you through too much trouble. It's no trouble at all. Mm, you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I love cooking. So do I. Oh, great. Well, we can take turns. Hey, I'm not sure if I'm moving in yet. What? Like I said, Alison, there's no obligation. Hey, Steve, thanks. It's really nice. Someone should warn that poor girl. Oh, come on, Marge. Wouldn't ruin my chances, would you? Not if you get rid of those boxes. <laughs> yep. Bye. The house is suited, hmm? Um, no. I was uh, wondering if the uh, clinic could cover me for a couple more days at the hotel. Well, I'm afraid not. We do have a budget for these things, you know. That's OK. I understand. But if you need to take some time off to look around... Uh... No. Look, um, the truth is I can't afford to stay on at the hotel and I can't afford the bond on a house, especially not on those your secretary arranged for me to look at. Oh, I see. I'm more or less broke. Temporarily, that is. You could say a cash flow problem. I wouldn't have thought the cost of living in Guatemala was that high. 
Neither was the pain. And no family or friends hereabouts? No. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Jenny, some more reasonably priced accommodation for Dr. Ropat. Oh, fine. You can leave it with Jenny. She'll get back to you. Thanks. Don't know what he wants. Most of the accommodation I put him on to was hardly expensive. Oh, he seems to be having some financial problems. Money tied up overseas, I expect. Oh. I would have offered him my spare room, but, um, could be awkward. Perhaps I could put him up for a while. Would you? Mm. Well, he couldn't ask for better, could he? See what he says. God. Disappointed female or angry husband? Well, the latter, if you must know. I can't believe you look so surprised. Don't tell me it's never happened before. Were you sick the day they did bedside men? I mean, you could show some sympathy. Why? It serves you right. You don't even know the circumstances. <laughs> Here, allow me. Oh, I bet you're enjoying this. Intensely. So, who was it? The aerobics instructor's husband? How did you know? You're lucky he didn't make mincemeat of you. He's more than capable. Yeah, well, that's all he is capable of. He refused to see reason. I, I mean, I said I was sorry. <laughs> what? Well, when Stuart said he was the father, you could have knocked me down with a feather. But now he says he's not. <laughs> well, that was a relief, I can tell you. Oh, how that boy manages to get himself into these things. Nick's exactly the same. Michael seems to think it's a phase, but... Our son Daryl was never like that. He was in last week with some new drug samples. He said business was booming. <laughs> yeah, well, people get sick, don't they? <laughs> well, I'd better be going. You know, it's bedlam in there today. <laughs> Good luck. Hi, Kirsty. Hi. Hi. Anything for the hospital crew? Yes, thanks. Just a moment, Kirsty. I believe you were out with Nick last night. At the bottle store. Yeah. I know about the car. And about the fight you were involved in. We weren't involved, we were just there. Then perhaps you could explain why there was blood on the front seat of my car. Nick didn't tell you. A friend of Nick's cut his hand on some glass and Nick insisted on bringing him to the clinic. Even though he knew that he'd probably get in trouble. You brought him here? Yes, and just as well he needed major surgery. Fairly major. Uh, and who operated? Dr McKenna and Dr Fleming. Did they know that this boy was a friend of Nick's? Only Dr. Fleming. Look, I know that Nick wasn't supposed to have the car, but it was just as well he did. I mean, who knows? Simon could have bled to death. Oh, don't get too carried away, Kirsty. All I'm saying is I think that Nick was really brave and did the right thing, don't you think? Well, perhaps. But why didn't he tell me? This is top quality stuff. All the fitness freaks you get in here should really go for it. Do you think so? They're all into lycra body suits and mega trendy stuff like that. Well, that's where you come in. You've got to convince them that this stuff is mega trendy. Lycra's from yesterday's stuff. It's, it's for nerds. You got it? Right. Okay. It's just, I've never been very good at conning people, Steve. Gina, you're not conning anyone. You're doing them a favour. Look, just put one up behind the counter, okay? Sure. Yeah. Hey, man. Whoa. Get out of here. What would be good then, this stuff? For yuppies. Well, then it's about time you changed your image. <laughs> Are you still working tonight? What's it to you? I just want to make sure I've got the place to myself, that's all. Well, save some dinner for me. I won't be home that late. Oh, we should be out of the way by the time you get home. Bull, she'd never go for you. She seemed pretty keen when I asked her. Especially when I mentioned you'd be out. It's not fair. I really like her. To you, she's just another... Yeah... But what a challenge. It'll be like seducing Snow White. Pity you won't be there to see a master at work, buddy boy. Hey, Gina. Good luck. Check you later. Phone call for Dr. Fleming from Dunedin. She's with a patient. No, I'm sorry, she's busy just now. Can I take a message? Oh, yes, Mrs. Fleming. Yes, I'll tell her. Oh, wait a minute. Here she comes now. Phone call from your mother. Hello. Joyce, another brown face. You must be the new doctor. Good morning, nurse. Jackie, would you go and assist Dr. Warner, please? Uh, but it's Don't a... argue. Do it. Can I help you? Oh, I was just waiting to see. 
Marjorie, Dr. Roper, would like a word. On the way from the plane. Ah! <laughs> Are there any serious injuries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, only the one we're worried about. Yeah, well, if you'll all please take a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We demand to see a doctor. Yeah. Oh, and he's yeah. tangled. And he's a bloody yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Yeah. This is what you need, Annie. Yeah. Put a dressing on this, will you, Alison? Yes, Doctor. Excuse me, mate. Hey, Arnie. Great game, pal. Thanks. You know each other. Well, everyone knows Arnie. Didn't you realise you got a national treasure here? I'll be careful then. Uh, you reckon I'll be right for this week's game? I'm afraid not. Yeah, guessed as much. How long? A while. Oh, no. I can't afford to be off for long. How soon can you have me back? Well, that depends. Given that you've broken the leg before, we could be looking at a common muted fracture. Now, that's where the bone breaks into more than two pieces. Well, I've got to be back by the end of the season. Hey, come on, Arnie. If you've broken your leg, you've got to give it time. You don't want to end up with a permanent disability. I've only got a few good years left in me. Too be... much time out now, and my career's over. It's OK, mate. Might not be as bad as all that. Alison, when you're finished in there, can you take this patient through to X-ray? Sure. Well, can't you give me some idea of how bad it is? We'll have to see the X-rays first. Hey, run off a few extra, will you? I might be able to raffle them down the pub. So how long are they keeping you here? Depends. They want to make sure I'll be able to use my fingers properly. Is that what McKenna said? Don't know. I haven't seen him today. Hey, I'll tell him I know you. Maybe I'll get a discount. Do me a favour. Don't. Anyway, gotta go. I'll see you later. Why didn't you tell me about this? Would you have been interested? Well, Kirsty told me about last night. I'm sorry if I didn't give you a chance to explain. But you can hardly blame me for thinking the worst under the circumstances. Mum. I've got a break. Why don't you come and have lunch with me over the road? Oh, yeah, OK. Go Nick. Checking on Simon. Yeah, that's right. Why do you know him? Yeah. Oh, well, he's coming along very nicely. Is everything all right? I think so. I might take my break now. Yeah, fine. You take as long as you like. Oh, Nick. We, uh, <clears throat> we haven't seen too much of you lately. You'll have to come out on the boat again sometime. Yeah, great. leave a scar? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Good. It's not done vain or anything. Try putting some vitamin E cream on it. <sighs> Thanks. And, uh, should I come back to get a check sometime? Uh, no, I don't think that'll be necessary. Then, uh, when will I see you again? Oh. <laughs> you guys are trendsetters, right? I mean, people look at everything you do. Yeah. And you yeah. want them to think you've got taste, don't you? Suppose, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, these will do the trick. Only fifteen dollars each. <laughs> what a bargain! Man. It's fifteen dollars. Oh, excuse me, guys. Have a feel. Get 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 to know it and all that kind of stuff. What? Change of plans, Steve. Looks like I'll be coming home tonight. Not like hell. This made of Tom's big me to swap shifts with him. What else could I do? You can go to a movie tonight. That's what you could do. I haven't had a home cooked meal for ages. You scumbag. You get your own day. I had enough nails to organise tonight. I deserve first crack at Allison. I saw her first. Yeah, but you didn't do anything about it. Suppose I get a date. Can I come around then? Like a double date? I don't know, man. Alison might feel more comfortable with another couple around. She's my date, okay? No muscling in. 
Sure. There you go. Oh, good on you, mate. Excellent. Present Do you know, I would not be surprised to see you cooking hot dogs in the autoclave. So, uh, how about another shirt? So, you yeah, take one home and wash it. I thought a good cup of strong coffee might sober them up a bit. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't know where they get the energy. There you are, Jackie, an island of calm amid all this chaos. I was due for a break hours ago, Miss Burton. So were most of the staff. But what would happen if we all took our regulation tea break in the middle of an emergency? As far as I can see, it's all over, bar the hangovers. The other nurses appear to have plenty to do. Hurry up. Emergency. I'd hardly call a pack of half-zonked rugby players with minor injuries an emergency. Don't worry, dear. It's not personal. <laughs> Isn't it? Meredith, are those Arnie's x-rays? Yes. And? When our star fractured his feet, he obviously never found time to... No, how bad? Pretty bad. He was asking for trouble to go on playing. <sighs> Poor guy. Stupid game. If they had any idea how they could end up, they might think twice. Is that what you're going to say to him? No, but it's the truth. Oh, don't worry, I'll be gentle with him. Hey, uh, do you want me to tell him? No, really, it's not necessary. I don't mind. Well, if you're sure you yeah, don't positive. mind. Yeah, positive. It'd sound better coming from someone who spoke the same language. Well, Meredith. Yes? I believe you were on duty last night when Nick brought that boy in. Oh, he told you then? Yes, eventually. I would have said something, but I... Oh, that's okay. <sighs> Look, you mustn't be too hard on Nick. He wasn't supposed to have the car last night. That's why he asked you not to say anything. But other than that, I gather he did the right thing. Well, I... Well, Kirsty said he did. I don't know what they've told you, but... Nick was quite drunk when he came in last night. I took his car keys off him, but apparently he swiped them back the moment I went into surgery. It's not exactly what I'd call doing the right thing. Hey, Arnie, how's it going? Dr Fleming give you something for the pain? Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> Maybe because I was already feeling no pain when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Hey, how much longer will she be? The waiting's killing me. Oh, I got your happy snaps right here. Better be good news, I'm telling you. Well, we have a problem because you never had the pin removed from your previous fracture. Well, I couldn't afford the time in hospital. Well, the trouble is, the bone is fractured around the pin. It's splintered into fragments and it's bent the pin. That means we're going to have to open up your leg and put a steel plate over the fracture. So it's worse than before. Well, last time I only had to take a few months off. <clears throat> well, um, this is more complicated. The, the bone's going to take a bit longer to knit. And, um... Well, there's no nice way to say this, Arnie. You won't be able to play competitively again. I'm sorry, man. Come on, you had a better run than most. It might be a good thing to hang up your boots now and quit while you're at the top. You don't get it, do you? Look, I was just about to sign a contract to play in Australia for megabucks. Now what am I supposed to do? Well, there must be plenty of options for a genuine legend. Look, you're only a legend while you can get out there and rip up the turf. Nobody cares about yesterday's heroes. You don't believe that. Oh, I've seen it. Well, I can think of a dozen things you can do. Yeah, like what? Sportswear promotions, gym equipment. Well, what about coaching? He's a man of your experiences. Well, you can still contribute heaps to the game. This will never be the same. Well, no, I guess it won't. Thanks, Jenny. Hi. 60? 80. Hey, I thought you said you sold six. It should be $90, Gina. $10 commission. It's only fair. I thought you might like to take a T-shirt. Come on, I need the cash. Oh, all right. I'll have a green one. Can you wait till the next slot come in? Yes. I see you've turned this place into a clip joint too. Uh... I said I wanted to see you before you signed off. I'm sorry, I forgot. If I ever catch you peddling goods to patients again, I will have no choice but to inform Dr McKenna, and I'm sure he would take a very dim view of the practice, especially given the dubious origin of the goods. They're top quality. Perhaps you'd like... No, thank you. Excuse me. Gina, chocolate milkshake, please. Sammy? Hey, uh, you lined up a dinner date yet, man? I'm working on it. Who? It's a surprise. I expect you're wondering what you've got yourself into after today. At least it was better than yesterday's effort. 
And I hear mother and daughter are doing well. Someone mentioned your son. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a misunderstanding. Oh. And he's just a friend, that's all. A good friend. Short and treat accident at an emergency centre. Steve, is Arnie's bed ready yet? Sure is, Doc. Dr. Rob Harder, meet Arnie, a living legend. Arnie? G'day. Chris here's been trying to cheer me up. He says I'll never play again. What do you reckon? Well, I... Well, it's uh... not fair. It's just not fair. I see you handle that with your usual aplomb. Hi. It's about time you got home. You're not still mad, are you? Thought we agreed... Come inside. Hello, Nick. Your mother thought we should have a little chat. What a day. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I learned a lot. Hmm? And a whole bunch of rugby songs and some very blue jokes. <laughs> I heard you talking to Arnie. I think you handled it really well. Yeah, I'm glad someone does. I expect you think I'm a coward. Hmm? Well, surrendering responsibility to you, I mean. <laughs> I offered. Because you didn't think I'd be compassionate enough? I'm sure you would have handled it very well. But not compassionately. I just thought that Arnie would prefer to talk to someone who... Sympathised? Who understood about rugby. Why are you so touchy? I do sympathise. I think it's really sad. <laughs> sad? You? Yes. <laughs> oh, what's the point in talking to you? Look, your trouble is you try so hard to be littleness efficient, you sometimes come across as being a bit cold. Cold? You just have to show that there's a warm heart beating down there somewhere. Oh, there is, isn't there? Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost. It seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance for the dream, show me the street. Yesterday's in another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be Shining and the street If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see Shining and the street this program was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.